reason 97% of your videos don't get views is because the algorithm thinks your videos won't interest or retain potential viewers. Why does it think this? Well, one of the biggest things the algorithm looks at when deciding whether or not to promote your videos to viewers is how many viewers will watch your videos all the way to the end, aka your audience retention. But there's a near idiot proof little hack that almost all the big YouTubers use to boost their attention and you can use it to boost your attention and get more views without being some big brain editing genius or storytelling expert. And it helps get results like this. For example, in this clip, Mr. Beast uses this retention hack nine times in 11 seconds. See if you can spot it. I rented a $1 million a night hotel room. And I also rented this $1,000 a night cave, this $10,000 a night underwater palace, this $50,000 a night island, and so much more. Did you catch it? Pay attention to what happens every time Mr. Beast makes a key point or wants to draw your attention into the video. I rented a $1 million a night hotel room. And I also rented this $1,000 a night cave. This Notice how he adds sound effects to exaggerate each key event. And this refocuses his viewers' minds at the right moments and keeps them engaged. And even if your videos aren't as energetic or aggressively edited as Mr. Beast's, you can still use this technique to improve your retention. But a lot of small YouTubers have trouble with this. They have questions like, when do I add sound effects? What kind of sound effects should I use? Where can I get copyright safe sound effects for free? And to reveal the answers to these questions, I'm going to show you step by step how I do it and let you watch over my shoulder. So we're in Premiere and I'm gonna show you three different examples of three different clips of how you can apply sound effects to make them so much more engaging. One of those clips is going to be a funny or comedic type clip. The second one will be a more serious and educational type clip. And the third one will be a more epic cinematic type clip. I'll show you how we can use this exact principle on all of these different videos, even though they're completely different in style. So let me show you this first clip without any editing. So you might have missed that there actually, but you'll see around about here, a character actually just falls randomly out of the sky, right? Which is it's kind of a funny moment for this particular game. The thing is, you, like I though, might have actually even missed that the first time, or you might have seen it, but you're like, what the hell is that? So what we're going to do is we're going to add a pattern interrupt to exaggerate that moment. That's going to refocus our viewers' minds, kind of tell them that there's something going on. So the first step in figuring out how to do this is to kind of watch through the video and figure out what your main events are, the main things you want to draw people's attention to. So for this one, it's pretty obvious. It's the dude falling out of the sky. And then you want to try and think to yourself, what sound could be associated with with that. Now at this point, remember, we're not adding sound effects or memes. We're just trying to exaggerate what's already happening. So for this clip, for me, what comes to mind is the dude would probably be screaming as he's falling. There'd probably be some sort of impact sound as he hits the ground. And then maybe afterwards, there'd be a little bit of groaning and pain or something like that. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to figure out where my main event is. So in this case, it happens right here. So just as he's hitting the ground, and for me, I like to add a marker on my timeline, which you can do on Premiere by hitting M on your keyboard. And that'll just let me sync everything up all nice because there's nothing worse than sound effects being out of time in a video. <laughs> Later in the video, I'm going to show you how to get copyright free sound effects for your videos. But for now, I've already just grabbed them to save us some time. Okay, so I've got this first sound effect that is sort of a combination of both a scream and an impact. So if we listen to this now, we can see that it exaggerates the moment a lot more. It's very abrupt and harsh, but we'll be able to edit this to make it what we want. Remember with exaggerations, we want them to kind of feel like they're actually coming from what's happening in the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this sound effect is way too loud. So I'm gonna to have to make it a little bit quieter. So for Premiere, I'm just gonna grab this little um, bar here and drag it down, maybe be somewhere around there. And what I'm looking for usually is in my mixer over here, I'm usually looking for something in between negative three and negative six for most things. So I could probably even maybe go a little bit louder. Yeah, that'll work. So that was around negative six. If you go a bit quieter, it's not too much of an issue. The main issue is if you go too loud, but this still isn't that realistic, even though the volume is better because if this sound effect was actually coming from a guy falling out of the sky, it wouldn't all be the same volume the whole time. It would kind of be faint as the dude's really high, and then as he falls, it would get louder and louder and louder until it kind of peaks at the section where he hits the ground, and then it would kind of drop off. So how I'm going to emulate that is I'm going to add actual keyframes to this sound effect. And for many editors, the way you do that is you hover over this bar, 
and you hold control on your keyboard or command and you click and it's got a little dot that you can drag around and adjust different sections of volume within this sound effect independently from one another. I'm going to add a keyframe at the very beginning because I want that, I'm going to drag that down and make that quiet. Then I'm going to add one here at the very impact because this is where I want it to be the loudest. And then I am going to add one right at the end because I want that to be also relatively quiet because we want it to kind of fade out after he's hit the thing. And then I'm going to adjust the volume by dragging these around. So again, like I said, we kind of want this to fade in. So I'm going to drag this down, maybe something like that. And then I'm going to drag this one down as well to something maybe like that. So now if we listen to this, it should be a little bit more realistic. There we go. So you can kind of see now it fades in, gets louder and louder, and then it peaks at the moment he hits, and then it kind of fades out a bit. So it matches with the actual game audio itself and, and doesn't sound too fake. However, something else I'll do for this particular sound effect is you can see that this line is perfectly straight. So what that means is that the clip is getting gradually louder and louder and louder as the guy approaches. But a more realistic way to design the sound for this would be to have it be more of a curve. So it's pretty quiet, pretty quiet, then it gets louder, 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 faster. So let me show you how we do that. We'd hold control and we wanna click on this keyframe and it'll give us this little handle. And what I'll do is I'll drag that out gradually like this. You can see this is gonna make us more of a rounder curve rather than so linear. So now if we listen to this, Sounds a lot better. I might even bring make this a tad louder, actually the impact a bit louder uh, by clicking that and dragging it up. Where'd that hit? That was, that might be a little bit too loud. So I'll bring that down. Something like that. And I think that's pretty good. However, I'm still gonna add a few extra things here. This would be really good as it is, but I do wanna add a couple of extra things. I want to exaggerate the impact of the guy it's hitting and then I might also want to add a little groan sort of sound effect afterwards. So this first one here is a, a guy kind of screaming as he hits and then the second one is kind of a, a body sort of impact sound effect. So again I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to adjust the volumes and add some keyframes and move them around to make it a bit more realistic. Then lastly, like I said, I want to add a kind of groan effect to kind of exaggerate the pain this guy's in. So I want to probably add it as we and make sure it finishes when we look away from the guy because that's when people's minds will be off that guy. So at that point, we don't want to be focusing on him. We want to be focusing on the sky, which is where he came from. So I might make that a bit quieter. I might make it. Uh, I'll add some keyframes and make it gradually fade in. Cool. All right, so now let's look at the before and after of this clip. But if we mute all of these sound effects, this is the before. See how much of a massive difference that makes? Now, with the sound effects, your mind is drawn in to the main event that's happening. It exaggerates it and makes it more funny compared to without, where you could actually miss the main event if you blinked too quickly. What if your video isn't a funny slapstick type video? Should you still use sound effects? Well, the answer in my opinion is yes. And let me show you how it is that we do this. Here's a clip of me talking with my webcam mic about growing a YouTube channel. So you're looking for a step-by-step -step process that will help you grow your YouTube channel fast. Well, you'll be happy to know that so again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna look through this and that's kind of okay as it is, but we wanna exaggerate the main events to really draw people's attention into them. So the main events here would be twofold. The first one is when I talk about growing a YouTube channel and I show uh, an analytics dashboard of a channel I worked on. And then the second moment is kind of when I talk about growing your channel fast that we got almost 1.4 million views and almost $6,000 in just 28 days. So the kind of sound effects that come to mind for me when watching this that would sound natural is as this is coming in, it's sliding in from the side, I'd kind of want there to be like a whoosh sound effect as it comes in. And then the other thing is as this oval kind of pops up to indicate the 28 days, I think a sort of ding sound effect would just make sense here. So let me add these sound effects, adjust the volume and show you what the end product looks like. So you've seen the before without the sound effects. Here's the after. 
So you're looking for a step-by-step -step process that will help you grow your YouTube channel fast. Well, you'll be happy to know that it's so much better. Your attention is attracted at the right moments and it just feels better. Before the overlays just kind of felt very disconnected. Now they feel embedded into the video. But what about an epic moments video? Can you still add sound effects to make your clips more epic? Well, I think the answer is yes. And I've got two examples here for you that I've edited using the same techniques I just showed you. But in the name of getting to the part of the video where I show you how to find sound effects faster, I've already pre-edited these ones but what I will do is show you the before and after here all right so this is the before of an epic moment which was pretty good I mean the Call of Duty in-game sound effects are pretty good but if I'm looking at this I do think we could exaggerate it to make it really hit harder we could do that by adding a bit of foreshadowing like adding a reload sound effect that kind of focuses in the viewers mind they're like oh what's gonna happen here and then when they're on the edge of their seat I think we could exaggerate the gunshot sound effect by adding another one we could also add the scream of those two guys as they get shot and maybe to indicate that this was like a win we could add the kind of ding sound effect so here's what it looks like after those edits But what about a more complex situation where there isn't just one main event that you want to exaggerate? Well, here's a good example I'm going to show you without sound effects. So this one has a lot of potential. There's a lot of things that go on here. Firstly, there's the hammer hit, which I feel like could be exaggerated quite substantially since it hits hard enough to make a car go flying, but the sound effect from the game itself is, is kind of mediocre. And then of course, there's the vehicle kind of flying down towards us where we could probably add some sort of vehicle or scream effect to kind of indicate that it's in distress. It also hits the mountain right about here. So we could add a crash sound effect there to exaggerate the impact. And then lastly, as it hits the bottom and gets hammered no pun intended we could add another large crash sound effect we could probably also add a little death scream you can see a player here dying but not much attention is really drawn to that so i've taken the liberty and gone ahead and added these sound effects and like the first clip i've actually overlaid some sound effects here i have a specific sound effect to exaggerate the sound of the hammer striking the ground slash the car and then I also have a sound effect that plays at the same time to exaggerate the car actually getting hit, which is kind of like a metallic crash. And those two things come together to make this sound pretty realistic. So let's have a listen to this. There we go, hits so much differently, especially at the end. And all of these clips have just been made so much better just using exaggerations. Imagine when we start doing things like adding music or adding an overlay or zooming in. Your audience retention is just gonna get so much better, which is gonna result in YouTube wanting to promote your video more. But there's still one thing we haven't covered yet, and that is where do you find high quality free sound effects for your videos? Well, to thank you for watching this video all the way to the end and increasing my retention, I'm gonna give you my 200 copyright free sound effects pack for free. Normally it's $35, but if you go to the link in the description on this video, you'll hit a page that looks like this, and all you have to do is enter your email address, and I'll email you access to my 200 sound effects pack for free. And no BS, you can use the sound effects as many times as you want, you can monetize your videos, and even though it's free, you get a 100% copyright safe lifetime license to use it. So check out the link below. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope this helps make your videos better.